Recently, I had a chance to speak with Stephen Lowe, who is a former gymnast. Here is a list of his feats of strength. And he is probably best known as the author of the book, Overcoming Gravity. Is there a recommended general rep and set scheme for training body weight skills? Yeah, so for beginners and intermediates, you generally want to go with the 5 to 10, maybe up to 12 rep range to build the requisite muscle mass because most beginners and intermediates don't have as much muscle mass as they need for the skill. Mid, intermediate to advanced and beyond, generally the 3 to 5 rep max is superior for strength gain. From my point of view, you know, achieving a advanced body weight moves is similar to maximizing your ability to doing one rep maxes because I'm pretty sure uh, most people would rather be able to do a five second planche instead of a one minute straddle planche for example. So is that statement right? Because if that's right then my intuition is we should train one rep max for one rep max right? Why do we want to spend extra effort at getting better at three rep maxes and five rep maxes? Yeah, so to answer that, we got to get into the physiology a little bit based on like the Hanneman size principle that states that your body recruits low threshold motor units to high threshold. Steven eventually went into the details of the science, but I want to explain what Steven means in layman's term. Training through your five rep maxes is optimal because you mainly train for strength, but you still get some hypotrophy. Just for a quick review, high overall volume is optimal for hypotrophy. High intensity per rep is optimal for strength gains. According to Steven, the strength gains for training 1 rep maxes are equivalent to those of training 3 to 5 rep maxes. If I mainly train 1 rep maxes, I will probably get results a bit faster because of specificity. But eventually I'll hit a plateau because there is a limit on how much strength potential there is per muscle. Therefore, increasing muscle mass becomes a solution to increasing the overall strength output to take ourselves to the next level. However, you have to only increase the muscle mass in the target region, which usually means the upper body. If you increase your muscle mass uniformly throughout your entire body, including legs, body weight exercises will actually become harder as I explained in this video. So check it out later if you haven't yet. And of course, if your strength level is low, increasing muscle mass will make body weight exercises harder for no reason. To sum up, when your strength level is high, Increasing muscle mass in the target region will be the key to taking you to the next level in body weight exercises. What's the typical intensity of 3 max versus 1 rep max? Is it like 50% of 1 rep max or is it 80%? What's the typical? Okay, so there are studies done on this and generally around 90% of your 1 rep max is your 3 rep max. 5 RM is about 85, uh, maybe a little bit higher, 87-ish percent. Even at these lower weights away from 1 rep max, you're still getting a very good training intensity there. That intensity definitely sounds a little bit too high to me. I think there's... No way I can do 90% of one rep max intensity for three reps. Because if you actually times the number, so say 90% times three, that's actually 2.7 times of volume. I find that kind of impossible. So is this actually the norm that most people experience? There is specificity there in that you'll be able to usually do more reps at the intensity that you practice at as opposed to the ones you aren't practicing. But it normalizes pretty quickly if you start training the other rep ranges. In terms of hypotrophy, how can you increase muscle mass just on the muscle group that you want and usually that's the upper body it's pretty simple you mainly work the movements that you're trying to get so what i'm hearing is you know i can eat a maintenance calorie like without a calorie surplus but i switch my one to two reps training to like three to five as you suggested i will start to see muscle growth over time on myself is that what i'm hearing if you're eating at caloric maintenance then you're not going to gain weight so the only way your body is going to add muscle is if it slowly recomposes itself, like slowly loses fat by burning up the fat calories with the protein you ingest to add on muscle. So you'll basically gain muscle uh, where you need it if you're staying at the same body weight. Okay, I think my body fat is pretty low. So I guess I still have to eat a calorie surplus <laughs> to, to grow muscles. <laughs> the training structure, someone does full body for a day and then someone split between push-pull and someone split between lower body and upper body. So I'm wondering what are your thoughts on these? Full body allows you to hit exercises 
three times a week. So that's why it's generally best for beginners and intermediates. The reason why you would move on from that is you're hitting so many things at once. So you're hitting your upper body push, your upper body pull, your core and legs. Um, if exercises are getting very hard, so like if somebody is using squats and deadlifts for their legs, those can be pretty taxing on the nervous system where the quality of your upper body push and upper body pull will start to drop compared to actually doing them on different days. So that would be a good reason to switch over from a full body routine to a split. And usually that occurs in the intermediate or advanced range. There is a way to make full body work as you're getting like really strong, but it tends to be harder to do than just go to a split. So for me personally, I split it between push pull and I've been doing that for multiple years. Do you actually recommend splitting into even more fine grains? So meaning like four days, one day is like straight on push, one day is straight on pull, and one day is spin on push, and one day is spin on pull. What's your recommendation on how to do the split? Usually I don't split it further. And the reason for that is because strength is basically predicated on repeating exercises over and over and, you know, progressing with them. You're going to be doing all those exercises maybe like once a week, one time a week, not that good for progressing with things. You only get about 50 workouts in a year with each exercises with at least two if you're doing the two day splits and that's, you know, 100 days a year, more chances to improve specific exercises incrementally. And so you usually get a bunch more progress that way. We continue the discussion in depth for about an hour. But I know not everyone is interested in nerding out on the details of body weight training. So I will stop right here. If you happen to be interested in the details, you should definitely check out Steven's book, Overcoming Gravity, and also his subreddit, R Overcoming Gravity. It was very enlightening to have an expert like Steven to assess my training routine. It looks like I'm doing everything right, except that I'm too hyper-focused on increasing strength. If you completely ignore hypertrophy like me, eventually you will hit a plateau at some point. To me, being able to do a warm pull-up is a pretty good plateau to be on. And as a climber, I have a motivation to keep my body mass low because there's no such thing like finger hypertrophy to increase finger muscle mass. If bodyweight exercises is your main sport, you should focus on increasing strength and get some hypertrophy along with it. Thanks for watching. If you learned something from this video, I want to let you know that I recently launched a full bar business called Five Bar a few months ago. After talking to many people, I realized that a lot of people think Five Bar is just another healthy bar that they can find in their local stores. No, Five Bar is the only energy bar on the market that is organic, exclusively real food, and has zero added sugar. If someone can prove me wrong by showing me another energy bar in the market that has all these features, I will ship 20 bars to you for free and shut down 5 bar before the end of 2022. If you value your health and performance, definitely check out the link in the video description below to order some 5 bars. See you in the next video.